the next example is uh, an application of uh, this, and uh, probably you saw similar example in in physics. So you have a hundred pound weight hangs from two wires. As illustrated below, I'm going to draw a little illustration. Find the tension forces uh, T1 and T2 on both wires. So, Warren, this is the opposite of, uh, not the opposite, but uh, the reverse of the problem in the homework, uh, where in the homework you were given the tension, but uh, you need to find the weight, I think. So, the, to illustrate, let's say this is uh, some sort of, let's say this is a ceiling, uh, and you have a weight that are not really in the center, it's like so, so it's hinged here, the wires are connected, hinged to the ceiling, here and here, this is the weight um, of a hundred pound, so, and here's the tension force, T1 on this wire, T2 on this wire, the angles are 50 degrees and 32 degrees, I think, doesn't matter, we can say theta 1 and theta 2, um, let's put numbers here, 30, 50 and 32 degrees, right? So what, how are we going to go about it? Well, obviously each force, the, the tension force can point only in the direction of the wire. So <clears throat> uh, we're going to break the, uh, the forces um, into horizontal and vertical components. So if I'm looking at, uh, at this, a T1 is a vector, right? So let's say this is vector T1. Notice that it's different than T1. This is the magnitude. This is just the magnitude. And T1 and T2 without the vector symbol, okay? And the angle here, if this is 50 degrees, uh, the interior, uh, the alternative interior is 50, and this angle will be 130 degrees, right? So if I'm going with the standard uh, angle. The other vector, T2, so this is T1, this is T2, has 32 degrees, again, alternative interior angle. So what are the horizontal components? One thing that we know uh, that mm, there is the sum of uh, the vertical component of T1 and T2 will equal the weight, and the, vert the horizontal component of T1 and T2, T2 balance each other. That's from physics. It's, if we do free body diagram, that's what we come up with. So uh, we're going to say that vector T1 is made of a horizontal component, which will be T1 cosine of, one of uh, 130 in this case, plus, so that will be in the I direction, and in the J direction, it will be uh, T1 sine of 130 degrees, okay, in the J direction. And T2 equals T2, the, uh, the tension, and it will be, again, cosine 32 degrees in the 
actually, I, I switched it, uh, the I and the J, so I apologize. Let me uh, make a quick correction here. Uh, no, actually, I, I was right. It's, uh, it's cosine. Um, it's cosine of 130 I. And here we have T1 sine of 32 J. All right. And what we say that the weight, 100 pound, balance is balanced out by the, uh, the J direction. So it's equal to T1 sine 130 um, plus, actually, let me put another vector mg here, and let me write it in vector notation. Vector mg has only j component, okay? T2, yes. Vector mg is equal 0i minus 100j. Okay? Because it's negative. And now we're going to say that the sum of the forces in the vertical direction is zero. So we're going to say that sum of vertical component equals zero. And we're going to say that T1 uh, sine 130 j plus uh, t2 sine 32j equal um, 100 or minus 100 pound j equals zero. And from here, the only, uh, that would be one equation and the other, the sum of horizontal component is zero. So the horizontal component only, uh, we have only two because the weight has zero horizontal component. So we're gonna say that cosine 130J plus cosine 32J equal I'm sorry, T1 and T2 equal zero, okay? Notice that cosine of 130, 130 degrees is negative and cosine of 32 degrees is positive. So you have two equations. You have equation one and equation two, and between the two equations you can solve uh, a system, okay? Those are I, thank you. Uh, there was a correction here and uh, the horizontal component are I, so cos and 100, T1 cosine 130 degrees I plus T2 cosine 32 degrees J equals zero. And uh, basically what you have a system that uh, looks like this, A T1 plus B T2 minus 100 equals zero, and C, T1 plus D, T2 equals zero, and you solve for T1 and T2.